As the Israel-Gaza conflict escalates, the U.S. has extended its full support to Israel amid grim situation. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said that the U.S. will send multiple military ships and aircraft closer to Israel. Lloyd Austin, Defense Secretary, United States, said that he has directed the movement of the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group to the Eastern Mediterranean. This includes the U.S. Navy aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, the Ticonderoga class guided missile cruiser USS Norm Normandy, as well as the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers USS Thomas Hudner, USS Ramage, USS Carney, and USS Roosevelt and have also taken steps to augment U.S. Air Force F-35, F-15, F-16, and A-10 fighter aircraft squadrons in the region. Lloyd Austin said the U.S. maintains ready forces globally to further reinforce this deterrence posture if required. Hamas fighters rampaged through Israeli towns as the country suffered its bloodiest day in decades. President Biden had said that the U.S. stands in solidarity with, the, with Israel in the face of terrorist assaults by Hamas. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also thanked Joe Biden for his words. Islamist group Hamas killed more than 700 Israelis and abducted dozens more in the ongoing war. Israel also retaliated by hitting housing blocks, tunnels, a mosque and homes of Hamas officials in Gaza. According to Reuters, more than 400 people were killed in Gaza and over 700 people lost their lives in Israel. The United States stands with Israel. We will not ever fail to have their back. We'll make sure that they have the help their citizens need and they can continue to defend themselves. You know, the world's seen appalling images. Thousands of rockets in a space of hours raining down on Israeli cities. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people. Full stop. There's never justification for terrorist attacks. And my administration's support for Israel's security is rock solid and unwavering. Let me say this as clearly as I can. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching. So I just want to say that על הדברים הברורים והחזקים. אני מודה לנשיא צרפת, לראש ממשלת בריטניה ולמנהיגים רבים אחרים על תמיכתם הבלתי מסויגת בישראל. 